good morning and welcome to Portland Hotel and Reserve. I'm Mike McCauley, the Operations Manager for the Aspinall Foundation. I cover both here at Portland and Howlett's Wild Animal Park, situated just outside Canterbury. So the mission of the Aspinall Foundation is to halt the extinction of endangered species, enable people and wildlife to live in harmony. We want to be world leaders in animal husbandry, reintroductions and animal breeding. And we want to raise awareness of what wildlife means to us in the world. Our projects ran from Howlett's and Portland, cover, but are not limited to, the Congo and the Gabon, Tanzania, South Africa, Mongolia, Java, Sumatra, Cambodia, Mongolia and Romania. From our parks at Port Lim and Howlett's we've rewilded 8 black rhino, 11 Peshwari horses, 159 langurs and gibbons, 2 cheetahs, 6 European wolves, 70 lowland western gorillas, 20 mandrills and 12 European bison. Already in 2021 we've helped in collaboration with the Wild Animal Park in Canada to rehome 2 cheetah releasing them into the wild in Zimbabwe. I'm currently sat here at Lion Lodge. This is one of our premium accommodation where you can bathe in the evening whilst looking over at our cats sat behind you. We also have Tiger Lodge, we have Bubble, we have the hotel. There's lots of accommodation, so I'd like to take the opportunity of showing you exactly what's on offer here at Port Lim. We couldn't do a promotional video and not include the Trojan Steps, a historic part of the building and one that draws brides and grooms and Instagram followers to our Kent coast. As you can see, why wouldn't you want to get married with a beautiful environment like this and stunning views over the Kent coastline. Behind me, what we see is the Aspinall Suite, or what we know as the Aspinall Suite. When COVID happened and we had to lock everything down, we found that in the pod side of the park, we didn't have the ability of feeding everyone that was staying here. So we took away the, what we'd class as the wedding venue and turned it into what we now know as the garden room. It's an exclusive dining experience. It's open to everyone who's staying here and day visitors as well during the day. In the evening it turns into a lovely restaurant and in the weekends we open it up to the public as well as uh, day guests to come in and have a beautiful roast cooked by our executive chef Lee Edney. And here we have the mansion, our grade two listed building. Eight exclusive ensuite bedrooms, a restaurant, a bar, and numerous function rooms throughout, as well as a Moroccan courtyard which hosts weddings and events throughout the year. This is one of our tree houses, one of ten accommodations situated high up in the branches in, in Port Lim, offering panoramic views over the park with the rhino paddock down below and just to the right of me is what we call the bubble. In the evening the bubble is probably the best accommodation for looking up and stargazing and enjoying some quiet moments together. Other accommodation we've not managed to see today would incorporate Pinewood, a Giraffe Lodge, Bear Lodge and in the distance just behind me you can see Giraffe Hall, a project we're currently working on that will open it exclusively for weddings and accommodation guests in the summer of 2022 and something we're really excited about. Hi I'm Simon Jeffrey. I'm the Animal Director here at Port Lim Hotel and Reserve. Um, we're getting ready for the new season as we're able to open again after all the um, possibilities of the last pandemic and over the problems we've had with Covid. Um, we've been very lucky that we've been able to do some big projects during our lockdown. So we have a new line enclosure happening. This will be one of the biggest line enclosures in Europe. This is nearly eight acres. It's going to be a fantastic new exhibit that we're going to have in the middle of our park. We've also got a new bear enclosure. We're helping to rescue six bears from Andorra. We're in the process of going through all of that at the moment, but we've got a new three acre bear enclosure. This will be again one of the biggest enclosures around. It's a fantastic wooded area. Again, just up from our baby dolls restaurant so you'll be able to as you dine watch bears um, these are going to be European brown bears we're very lucky that we've had serval come in this year so we've got the possibility of three um, pairs of servals being set up very soon and hopefully for breeding projects these will be for hopefully future reintroductions our gorilla groups are doing incredibly well and um, we bought two new gorillas over from Howlett's so are in one of our bachelor in enclosures we had a baby last June here uh, sorry last March here um, at the parks and it's doing incredibly well in our in our big family group so we've got 12 gorillas in there and um, it'd be fantastic to get people back through the gate so they can just see how far we've come and what we're planning for the future Okay, so behind me is the new line enclosure under construction currently. We're implementing what we call a half hole, which is a ditch with a four metre backdrop, which will allow us to not have a perimeter fence here, but a ditch rather than a fence, which means you'll be able to look at the lines right in the eye. It will be the largest line enclosure in Europe, and as you can hear, it's currently under construction. Hi, 
Hi, we've come over to Howlett's now. Just, uh, just to emphasise on what we're about. We're about the animals, we're about the product, we're about our people, our, our teams. The, the purpose of joining Kent Chamber of Commerce is we're proud to be in Kent. We're proud of everything that's associated with Kent, to be a huge draw for our tourism side of the, of the county. Um, we're proud of, of what we do and what we have. Over the next years to come, we're going to try and procure from Kent. So we're reaching out to everybody who's a supplier in Kent, a training business in Kent, someone who can offer us uh, expertise in, in, in learning and, uh, and adjusting our business. Recyclable goods, we're on about, uh, we're, we're working with our uh, waste management team to look at how do we recycle things, are, people, are things reusable? Can we get away from disposables within the parks? Um, it's a whole trend set and a change that we're, we're trying to progress within both here at Howlett's and, and at Port Lim. So procurement side, we'd love any business in Kent to approach us. Tell us what you do. Is it something we could be proud of in Kent? Is it something we should be shouting about in our parks? Is it something we should have in our accommodation? Is there something, a food product that you're proud of that you make in Kent, that comes from Kent, is bred in Kent, you know, is made and produced in, in butcheries, bakeries? We just want everything to be in, proud of the county we're from and, and proud of what we're selling and what we're giving the thousands and thousands of people that come to our parks every year. And we'd like everybody, suppliers, businesses in Kent to be involved with us. We're about, we're, we're sustainable, we're staying, um, we're, we're growing. The, the, the growth programme that the, the company has for the next four or five years is phenomenal. We, we want to instill in Kent that this is a destination. Staycations here, we're increasing our numbers of accommodation and we'd love any business in Kent to be part of it. So for, for you here today, I'd like you to, to approach us um, and, and just hopefully you can become part of our journey to improve what we can sell and what we can show that Kent is about and what we have. One thing I'd like to mention is that obviously in Port Lim and at Howlett's we have the availability of a corporate environment. You could have a day experience here, you can bring here for team building exercises, you can network here, you can meet people here. At Port Lim we also have the, a major advantage, we can offer weddings. We can offer exclusive weddings, we've got a new pagoda coming in in the summer that will be offering a, a private experience and also where else in the UK can you go get married and then have a private safari with 50 of your guests. Please do get in touch and remember that you know, we're all Kent, we're all supporting one another and although I have nothing to sell out, I definitely have uh, a need for Kent support and Kent businesses to support the team here at the Aspinall Foundation. Thank you for coming with us today on this tour for our parks, looking at our accommodation, what we have to offer Kent and what also you could bring to the parks to help us support Kent both with tourism, with movement of people around the parks and also staycation. We are all in Kent and we are all here to stay and we thank you again. If you'd like to look at supporting us in different ways please do visit our website www.aspinallfoundation.org. I thank you again for watching this and I do hope that you come to our park soon and when the world reopens you're more than welcome and be our guest. Thank you.